Hello, another video. I'm doing my regular route here in the, in the woods. Uh, there was a wolf uh, seen yesterday uh, in my neighbor's garden and I just came here to check the neighboring woods and of course I saw the tracks here immediately quite fresh has been snowing snowing the whole whole morning so I can see see from these tracks that they're not more than one hour hour ago uh, <clears throat> I also saw wolf really near here only 500 meters away where I'm at uh, two weeks ago at the Wolf population is, is growing rapidly here, so... Uh, but anyways, there's very, very, very interesting knife that I want to show you. The knife I want to show you is this. Uh, this is the Martini Kierinki. And, uh, hey, first of all, wait a second, I, I want to grab my tea also. The Martini knives were, as I mentioned in the short video already, <clears throat> one of my most used outdoor knives. Almost, I think I used almost solely Martinis in the 90s. Well, also Isaac Järvenpää and a few other knives, uh, Pukos, sure, and uh, Moras. So yeah, sure. There, there was another knives, some Fiskars knives, but but mainly I would say Martinis were were my knives, uh, and my first <clears throat> like a proper Uko was a Martini. Also have a video of that. Found that knife uh, from my father's, from my late father's toolbox, and that knife was really really beaten up. So my father used that probably. For renovation of sort, I don't know. Uh, it, it's interesting. I have the footage here, <clears throat> so if somebody sees some movement, <laughs> it could be the wolf. Well, he he knows that I'm here, and uh, he hears me, of course, rambling here. But I, I'm now in the more in the woods, not so far away from the village, about maybe three kilometers. But, but Martinis. Uh, were were the most used knives and in that sense I have a kind of special uh, bond with the with the knives but the weird thing is that, uh, that there was many many years that I haven't bought any new martinis it must be well over 10 years uh, so I really wanted to change that and got this so this is the martini kierinki uh, I've been now using this um, about two weeks. Not too much heavy use, just basic cutting tasks, some food prep has, has been with me out in the woods, but not too much like feathers. Uh, but I did earlier today feathers uh, in my backyard, so uh, I will put the footage there. First of all, <coughs> Uh, I've always batoned with my knives. So I really don't uh, think it's that big deal. It's just <clears throat> how, how you're doing it. So you want to be kind of mindful of how to do it. You can always go around. I have an old martini. <clears throat> you can check the videos on that uh, that I bought. 96. I've always batoned, but not too heavily, so it wouldn't go through a huge oak tree or something, it's just 
being kind of mindful. So let's check the feathers. <clears throat> Very comfortable to handle, I must say. I have a, a large gloves on, no problem. Very nice control. Mm. Okay. Seems very nice actually the grind. Must say. Okay. Very nice. Very nice the grip on the hand, I must say. So it's can do very, very delicate, delicate feathers. Doesn't break those. Hmm. Okay. This is this is very nice. Very forgiving. Doesn't break the. Uh, doesn't break at all those feathers, so that you can have very long continuous feathers. For example here, if you see, it doesn't break those. Okay, this is, this is... This I like, this I like. Uh, also very nice with carving. Very good to find on that. It just eats the wood. I have to say I really like this knife. It's an 80 uh, CRV2 carbon steel. It's kind of brute forge blade. I love the design. This, this was kind of striking for me. I love this kind of different <clears throat> colors of the wood and how they kind of uh, complement each other with the with the black blade and then you have the steel. So that it's kind of a aesthetically very very pleasing knife in my opinion. Also I love <coughs> the... there's actually nothing I don't like about this knife. Uh, I've been talking about knife bond a lot in my channel, and that is something which is really important because <clears throat> with some knives it's even I really had to analyze <laughs> the knives. Like, uh, why do I have the certain bond with certain knives? It wasn't always so like self-evident, and it's many factors. But but the thing is that if I don't like the knife, knives I just sell them or more often than not just trade them because if I sell the knife then I would just buy some nonsense with the money so I'd just rather trade the blades uh, but this is this knife <coughs> is immediately uh, a kind of blade that I, I will not give this away or trade this this is very, very nice. It has good balance. Also, it's not breaking the bank, which is which is something which is also nice. So, balance is just on the right finger. And yeah, so so if if knife costs like this, I think it was 90, 90 euros. Yeah, sure. It's it's not the cheapest knife in the world. It's definitely not. But it's also you get quite a bit. For it, in my opinion, nowadays, with the with knife uh, pricing getting out of hands, so I like the look very much of the blade. The handle is um, reminiscent of the Ilves, the Lynx, which is um, Martini's most sold knife, a true classic, 
and also uh, one of the most sold knives in Finnish history. It has many forms. It, it, it's uh, sometimes the pommel is a bit larger here. I've seen many many Martin links, but it, it's a great great knife, part of Finnish uh, puko history, definitely. So I, I like the Martin links a lot. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so it has kind of longish the blade. This is something which I, I kind of like because it uh, separates this a bit from like totally uh, like middle of the road pukos. They tend to be um, like I would say 9.5 centimeters is probably kind of the most common uh, length. Um, yeah, so really, really liking this. So I should do a separate video of knife sheets. Again, uh, I've already done one video, but it's just so damn important. It's because, for example, this type of knife. I have this now, like two weeks on my belt. Well, I've used other knives, but many, many uh, walks uh, I've carried this one. I don't have to think for one second if I'm going to drop the knife. It's just not going to happen unless there's some weird uh, accident. And then this is so lightweight, uh, you, I don't feel it almost on the belt. So that's like the perfect companion to have. And then when you need it, it's, it's there. Uh, and it's also easy to take, take the knife out, of course. Easy to put it back. Like, just like that. So knife sheets are important because I hate the feeling of like I'm in the woods. I'm constantly like checking on the knife if if it's still there. Uh, did I lost it? Oh, do, 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 do. Like this this constant thinking is is really annoying. I, I want to think other things when I'm out in the woods. So that's why it is extremely important. Uh, and puko knives tend to have great sheets. Uh, this type of dangler that Martini often uses um, is is durable in my opinion. So I've, I have had this type of knives a lot. Uh, you can check the video of the of the one Martini that I have, almost similar to the sheet. I've used that so much, the knife, and uh, zero problem with the sheet. Well, maybe the re retention is not so good anymore, but like with the, with this type of dangler. I guess one of the ideas is that <coughs> these leather parts kind of uh, tightens the, the friction when, it, when it's hanging. I don't know if it's really doing that, but that's, I guess, one of the ideas. Maybe with the heavier blades, maybe with the leukus or something, you could actually feel that. Here's the logo, Martini. I uh, hope I can focus it here. Yeah, and Martini's uh, been on the business quite long. Comes from Lapland, Romaniemi. And this was, I think, if I remember correctly, was kind of a special design uh, to commemorate um, the birth place of, of Janne Martini, who is the, the founder of the company, actually. So he was born in the village called Kierinki. Um, and uh, yeah, by the way, the design was done, this is interesting, um, by the Kivalo design. Um, so, well, not, not the company, uh, but uh, the founder and uh, the designer of Kivalo design when he was working uh, in Martini factories, he actually did this design. Uh, I did a review of the Teri Pukko by, uh, by Kivalo Design. And this, this really is nice. This, 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 this whole package is just awesome. So I guess that's it. I will continue here, check if I see any other tracks. So if you uh, have noticed here a small 
chip on the blade and that came uh, because my crazy friend <laughs> uh, was visiting me, you know, he's really one of my best friends and um, we were celebrating uh, his kind of work related thing and he already had few beers and he wanted to open up a kind of sparkling wine bottle and he wanted to demonstrate uh, how you can open it with the, with a knife like sweeping the the cork away this kind of thing you see I don't know and uh, and then he asked to have a blade for that uh, and I was on the other room and, and that was, this was lying on the on the table and I just said take whatever you want I, I thought he's going to take some rubbish kitchen knife but he took this knife <laughs> and just sweeped with the the blade so not with the with the spine just the the cork away and it, it worked but there came a, a chip and there was ever so slight other like uh, chips and uh, a little bit of bending but I just stropped those away so not really a big damage and this small chip which I will just easily uh, sharpen away so <laughs> but he was very sorry about that he is not a knife enthusiast like me and uh, I don't know it just was also a bit drunk <laughs> so no no hard feelings at all and I I'm kind of a hard believer also of, of like putting the knife to use well that is a bit different that's not a typical outdoor outdoor use for a knife uh, grant you that but uh, nevertheless so it it held that kind of abuse but uh, I guess that's it really really happy about this uh, martini so Really nice package. Very nice, very nice knife. So, uh, thanks for watching. See you later.